as a technician, have you installed an air condition and um, at some point you try refilling a refrigerant into the system? And after refilling refrigerant into the system, you observe that the, the, the AC is not still cooling. And you tend to imagine what could be the problem while the AC is not cooling. But the AC is actually working perfectly. The AC has not dropped. The compressor is working well. It has not dropped due to voltage. It has not dropped due, due to anything. The indoor system is still working perfectly and the fan is blowing very high. But the AC is not cooling. You keep imagining what could be the problem. This can be the problem of that air condition not cooling. Number one, you might, you might have crossed contaminates refrigerants in the system. If, a refri if an air condition is using R22 refrigerant and um, after installation you did not actually observe it, you went ahead in recharging 410 refrigerants into that system you have contaminated the former gas that was there, the former refrigerant that was there with this R20, R410 you just added to the system now that AC will not work in any way, that AC will not cool in any way that is one of the major things you have to be put into consideration I know that um, I know that there is a particular kind of gas which we also use for air condition which is called the R32 the R32A refrigerant is a combination of R410 and R22 that gives up the R32 refrigerant but that alone just the combination of such of such gases has created a compound which is another entire gas on its own so you cannot mix R22 and R410 because both of them works in different ways or both of them are being used in air condition so you feel that merging both of them in a particular air condition can still work for it no i would i would i would um suggest to you that that will not make your ac to work that will not make your ac to cool so what you need to do as a technician who wants to ref refill gas into the system or who wants to recharge a new refrigerant into a particular system what you need to do is Check the specification, the factory specification of the compressor. If the compressor accepts R22 gas and the AC itself, there is a part in the AC itself, like in the nameplate, where you see R22 refrigerant. That is to tell you that the compressor accepts R22 and the embodiment of the system, which is the embodiment of the AC, also accepts R22 refrigerant as its base refrigerant. Then recharge that AC with that type of refrigerant that R22 refrigerant if you observe that the compressor takes in R410 refrigerant and the embodiment of the AC also tells you that you should continue with R410 refrigerant please do well to recharge the AC with R410 refrigerant there is a reason for that each refrigerant has its own function and also it is a it has its own chemical content for itself if the two refrigerants if the two gases merge together they are like they are like contaminating each other so the system is just like seeing it as 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 fluid so if you mix refrigerants you don't have it working that is just it if you mix refrigerants you don't have it working you use one refrigerant for a particular unit and use the other for the other unit. If it is 410, use 410. If it is R22, use R22. If it is R32, use R32. A other AC uses other refrigerants. So be very acquainted with the name plate on the air condition to know the kg, which is the kilogram of a particular air condition that a particular air condition has accepts that a particular compressor can carry and also be acquainted with the type of refrigerant it uses. If you cross any refrigerant, then you are tends to like you are reducing the lifespan of that air condition. That is just it. If you cross refrigerant, you are reducing the lifespan of that air condition. Probably the compressor itself. So, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for subscribing to my channels. I tend to 
post more videos related to air condition and its problems air condition and its matters almost every day so if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you have anything you need to communicate to me or you want me to talk about drop it on the comment section thank you